Welcome to Smoke Signals, a hard-hitting news program for students, by students. What's up, Wolfpack? This is Mr. Martin with your week in Wolf Sports. The girls' team were first place finishers at the Rockport meet last week and finished strong at Mound City this week. Jayla Irvin was the top medalist for the Lady Wolves. The boys' team were back in action in Mound City this week as well. Clayton Vernon was the top medalist for the men. This week was homecoming for the East Atchison Wolves, and the Wolves did not disappoint as they won their homecoming contest over Stewartsville Osborne by a score of 52 to zero at halftime. Lincoln Murray, Sammy Litherberry, Colin Headland scored two touchdowns apiece, and Gabe Harms had a scoop and score for the Wolves scoring. They played a cab tonight. Junior High Wolves finished their season two and three after a convincing victory over the Stewartsville Osborne Wildcards by a score of 44 to 12. Congratulations, Wolves. The Junior High Volleyball team also finished their season in the 275 Conference Tournament in Rockport last Saturday. Wins over Union Star and Nottaway Valley secured them third place. Congratulations, Lady Wolves. The Wolves volleyball team continued its winning ways by defeating arch rival Rockport on Tuesday night in three straight sets. securing two non-conference wins over Maysville and Essex, both in three sets. On pink out night on Thursday, Tommy Lee Martin and Lizzie Schleter were honored for their 500th kills. Congratulations. Alex and Sid teamed up to win first place in Plattsburgh on Monday. They had their annual pink out at Mazingo with Maryville on Tuesday night, but it was on Thursday that the EA Wolves golf team secured their fourth straight district title. Alex Barnett was the district champion and Amelia and Sid both medaled. Along with Cami Brown, they're going to state. Congratulations. Thank you, Martin. Now, if that wasn't enough sports, we're gonna go back to Martin for an NFL update. 
Hello, I am Casey Martin. I'm the CEO of Smoke Signals, and it's my duty to talk to you about what is going on in Congress. Unprecedented, Kevin McCarthy has been voted out as the Speaker of the House. And I know a lot of you want to discuss that in an hour, hour and a half episode. But I know a lot of you also are interested in the NFL. We have the terrible Denver Broncos who got 70 pointed. We have the terrible Chicago Bears, but we also have some great teams out there. San Francisco undefeated, Philly undefeated, and my Kansas City Chiefs have bounced did back you, to- Did you say Kansas City? I did. Oh yeah, did you like hear about like, Taylor Swift being there? Yeah, uh, Taylor Swift has been with Travis Kelsey, who is good looking, very good looking by the way. Um, so I've been obsessed that Taylor Swift is at these games like she's been to two i'm so excited i uh, i can't wait and also she included blake lively there and along with hugh jackman and uh ryan reynolds is that her husband <sighs> what are you thinking american football sucks oh <laughs> but I, mean, I love taylor swift she's okay amazing. she's amazing i'm going to a concert you are yeah oh, oh, my God. God. I'm, 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 I'm so good it's awesome <laughs> so worth it so worth it okay so i was also thinking like travis kelsey is very good looking and they're like they're not i don't think it's like a a, uh, what's it called? Um, like a battle it's between not, no, the it's careers. Like, they're both big. Yeah, they're like both, they don't need yeah. the they, make a lot the, of they don't need the coverage. Like it's just what it is. Yeah, and yeah. like 80, 87 plus thirteen equals hundred. So like it's that's perfect. that's just it's, it's just perfect. perfect. They, they are meant for each other, perfect. and I can't wait. I hope it's end game. Like I. Just Thanks, Martin. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting tired of all these women talking about Taylor Swift. Like who really cares? Nobody. Now we're going to Julia. It's doing someone's football. Hi, I'm Julia, and today I'm going to explain why soccer is so much better than your American football. Reason number one, it is much easier to understand. Like, everybody knows the rules, it's just the ball that needs to be in the goal. Easy. People all over this world know the rules. Number two, that's not even really a reason, but I do not understand why you guys call it soccer. It doesn't make any sense. Why is your football football? You kick it once, one time. We kick it the whole time. It doesn't make any sense. Reason number three, it's not really a reason, but in 2014, when Germany won the world championship in soccer, that was the first time ever I experienced pride over my country. Never again, but that was the first time ever I actually saw German flags on the street. So maybe that's why it's so special to me, but that is why it's so much better, okay? You guys should. <laughs> yeah, no, it's better. <laughs> Thank you, Julia. That's pronounced soccer. Now we're gonna go to Cole with a wacky adventure. Or maybe it's just cross-country practice. We'll never know. So this is uh, day 13 of cross-country vlogs with Cole. Um, yeah, I just got home, but I remembered Schieffer wanted me to do a cool-down run. So... I guess I'll just do it from here and keep you guys updated. Um, so, yeah, let's get started, I guess. So, uh, it's been about an hour since I last updated you guys. Um, it's about 6.15. I chose to go, go north. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm at, but I bet I'll be fine. It's, I hope it doesn't get too dark too fast. So, uh, I'll see you guys. So, uh, it got dark. Um, it didn't feel very long, but it's, uh, it's about eight o'clock right now. Um, I looked on my little GPS thingy that I just found out about, and it said that I'm right outside of Shan. So, I'm turning around now. Uh, yeah, hopefully I get back soon. So, uh, I just got back. Um, it's about 6.30 right now. I ended up running 53.7 miles. So, uh, I'd say that's a pretty successful cool down. Um, yeah, now I have to do my getting better ritual. So, uh... Last night was interesting. Um, I found out that bears are in Missouri. Uh, 
I know bears were in Missouri. <laughs> These things are fast. <laughs> so I have my big bandage and I have my wrap um, that you may have seen before, but uh. Uh, these, these things smell terrible. Um, I don't know why there's a scent to them, but they do. All right, so uh, now that that is done, I'm gonna get my hour long nap before going to school and doing that all over again. I'll, I'll see ya. Thanks, Cole. Gary, you gotta earn this, you can't just take it. Man, there needs to be a recount or something. Uh, now, we're gonna go Marge trying to ruin smoke signals, so we're gonna go to Tarky Renovations again. Hey, Smoke Signals, I'm Tyler, and I'm back with Tarkio Renovations, the best worst segment in smoke signals. I'm here with Mr. Schieffer in the new science lab. So, what do you like about this, this new lab? Uh, well, I'm really appreciative of having a working shower and working eye station. Uh, new lab tables, uh, the metal lab tables are absolutely amazing because they're not going to fall apart like a lot of wooden lab tables have in the past, lab tables that I've used in the past. Uh, the new fume hood is absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Not really had a perfectly good working fume hood uh, in any of the classrooms that I've ever taught in, so that's absolutely amazing to have. Uh, and also, the flooring is actually really great for lab rooms. Alright, thank you very much. There you guys go. Thanks, Tyler. That was great. If only anybody actually cared. Now we're gonna go to Addie, where she's trying root beer. Welcome to Addie's Adventures. It's the first episode of Addie's Adventures. So I'm excited for today because we have, as you can see, we could have three different kinds of root beers. I'm addicted to root beer, so I think I can guess the different brands. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. So let's begin. So I'm going, it's going to be tighter on her head. Stay still. <laughs> this might not be enough for her head. I can just and we're going to mix those around. This might hurt your hair. Sorry. Ah, I'm no. sorry, it's for Just make sure it doesn't fall. Anyways. You think you can guess the different brands while not being able to see? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll, I don't, don't know actually. Don't wash your hands. I'll watch. Okay. You just keep going. I'm going to guide her hands. <laughs> Alright. First one. Wait, you should probably mix them up. Wait, you did. Oh, wasn't okay. paying attention. Ready? Mm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. I don't know. Let's come back to it and go. <laughs> oh, that's Anne Elliot. Alright, so then what's the first one? Mud. Alright. Take your blindfold off. You got them all right. Fuck yeah, I did! No. I'm no. so proud. What? No. What? <laughs> so, I got two out of three. I'm, I'm proud, but I'm, I am disappointed because I thought I could get them all, but I lost. Hey, what's up, guys? Kingy in here. I just want to give a quick shout out to Whole Kernel Corn Juice for sponsoring this video. 
It has always been my personal corn juice of choice. So to have them sponsor a video is, it was just a great feeling. They reached out to me, asked me if I'd shout them out on the channel. And I figured I would, because I love whole kernel corn juice, especially from Clover Valley. Their brand is just, they're carbon neutral. They, you know, they just have the right ideas in mind. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to, Clo uh, to Clover Valley whole kernel corn juice. People really underestimate the power of whole kernel corn juice. And today, I'm gonna show you guys what it can really do to somebody. It's actually very good for mental health and it helps your muscles grow. And it's very good for, for growth. Libby, you don't even know what Pink Floyd is. Teacher, leave those kids alone. super proud of these guys for what they did Saturday at the 68th uh, Clarinda Band Jamboree smushed second place by 15 points super awesome so here we go bang bang from taps <laughs>
people ask me all the time, what is it like to be king? I have two words. Corn. Corn is delightful. Yeah, again. My name is Alex Erickson. This is my barbaric yacht. Yacht. <laughs> this is my barbaric yacht. Yeah. One more time. Oh Louder. Yeah. One more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My barbaric yap. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is my barbaric yap. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> my barbaric yap. Yup. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. It's a yap. Here we go. Yap. 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 I'm Kevin Brush. This is my barbaric yap. Yup. Yup. This is my barbaric yap. Yup! It's good. Cuddle, and this is my barbaric yap. Yup! Yup! This is scary. Go away! Go away! Go away! Question mark. Yep. And this is my barbaric yap. Yup! My name is Cammy Brown, and this is my barbaric yap. Yeah. Uh, this is my yap. Yup! Yeah. <laughs> I'm Gabe Arms, and this is my barbaric yap. Yup! Yup! I'm Richard. Yup! Go. Sorry, Addy. Two out of three ain't bad, though. Isaac, I just want to let you know. I hope you know that you'll never be better than me. Never. Now we're gonna go to Claire with her top five. I think she's doing top five meets or something. Let's go, let's see that. What's up guys, this is Claire and I'm doing your top five. I'm out here because I filmed my first one yesterday and Casey didn't like it. So I gotta redo it and I'm doing it in front of the greenhouses because I am doing top five favorite fruits or my favorite fruits. You guys are all able to have your own opinion, but these are mine. All right, at number five, we got raspberries. I love raspberries. I always eat them in yogurt, and they just like, you can't go wrong with them. Number four, grapes. I don't think there's been a time where I've had grapes and I didn't enjoy them, and I don't think I've ever had a bad grape. So, grapes are number four. Number three, I have kiwi. I don't eat this often, but when I do, like, I, it's just so good. Uh, number two, peaches. I think of elementary, in elementary when I was at the cafeteria all the time and they had peaches. I love peaches. Honorable mention, because Tommy thinks these one, this one should be in it. Mangoes. I don't have them often, but I do like them a lot. And I'm gonna make a point to say that strawberries, they should, they look better than they taste. Like they should taste better for how pretty they are, but they're not in my top five. Number one, unbeatable pineapple. You seriously can't beat it. It's the best. Thank you. Thanks, Claire. I wanted to say that. Thanks, Claire. Now we're going to recess with Tommy. It's a disgrace that nobody can come up with original ideas anymore. It's just Riley of recess, but with Tommy. Let's see it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you gonna take that, Tommy? I'm really excited for recess. Okay. What do you wanna do today? Let's go swing on the swing. Last one, the swing's running! Yes, I won! That's not fair, you cheated. I'm already too dizzy. I'm gonna play a different game now. Okay. Hey guys, can I play with you? Yeah, you, you can, can play. play. You can't get yeah, mad if you lose, though. I'm not gonna lose, guys. You'll see about that. Yeah! That was just luck. That's not happening again. Gosh dang it. Well, good shot. 
anyways. We still have one more round left. You're not getting past me this time. I believe I can fly I believe I can touch the sky Hey, hey, good job guys. Uh, I kind of put on my basketball shoes today, so, you know, that, that's why you guys beat me. We beat you because we're better. I mean, I wouldn't say that exactly. Whatever. Yeah, anyways, we'll play another time. Good game, guys. Thanks, Tommy. That was fire. It's good to be king. Let's see what it was like being king for a week. Time. Minute 15. New PR. Onward. Go. Great. Great. Thanks, peasant. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks, Garrett, for all the delicious grapes. They were very yummy. Now we're going to Luke, the anchor. I don't know if he deserves it. Will it float? <laughs> Okay, let's get in here and see 
if this floats, come in, come in. Now you see the paint can is, looks like it's almost sitting, but it can floats. Officially, it floats. Uh, thank you for joining the Look this week, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks, Luke. This has been Smoke Signals. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Next time. Yeah. Ian, King Ian, what do you got there? What I have here, Clover Valley whole kernel corn. This is my personal corn of choice. I got it from Walmart. It is very good. The juice that is actually in the corn is actually very good. It has a lot of rich vitamins and it's very good for mental health. And I personally love this corn. And if you also like corn, you can go down in the descri description below and use my promo code, Ian is better than Garrett on any Clover Valley whole kernel corn websites out there. And you will actually get a free can plus a dollar off your next order. Thank you, whole kernel corn for sponsoring this video. Can you talk? Just, just go. No, cut it. I'm, I'm Luke, and this week we're doing Will It. This week's mission is Will It Flow. Cole, shut it off! Thank you. Thanks, Cole. You have to look for your hat. Oh, yeah. oh. Of course, you're, okay, stop. Hour and a half episode. But I know a lot of you also are interested in the NFL. Hello everyone, I'm back. This is top five. Number two, because Mr. Martin, AKA my dad, will not let me put it in my actual top five. So this is top five things I have quoted Ian on from past bits in Smoke Signals. Number five, we have add toothpaste. It's pretty funny. Eh, okay. Number four, was it four? Number four, we have, ah, a Funyun. That bit got old because he said that possibly a million times. Number three, we have, Luke Bryan autograph. So put uh, some DNA of this, or not DNA, stuff in a petri dish for this, and it's really gross. So don't touch that. Number two, we have put your fist in your mouth from the wheel thing. Yeah, that was strange. And I said top five, but I don't have a number one because Ian's not funny enough to have five. So that's that. Thanks. Root beer float or root beer taste test or root beer challenge. Whatever we're calling. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. No more running races. <laughs> yeah, I have nothing. Thanks, else. Tyler. That was great. <laughs> Baron's di diploma. No. No problem. I'm saying thanks, Ian. Thanks no. for the great. Go. <laughs> Grape. <laughs> ah.
Thank you.